A trailblazer at the University of Connecticut, Dr. Ronald Mallett was one of the first African Americans hired to teach in the science department. Years later, the physics professor has made headlines for his theories on time travel. As WBZ's Jacob Wyckoff shows us tonight, going back to the past is something that Dr. Mallett has been looking forward to his whole life. Everything for me began with my father. For me, literally, the sun rose and set on him. Dr. Ron Mallett is a professor emeritus of physics at the University of Connecticut. He was just 10 years old when his father passed away. He died suddenly of a massive heart attack. Uh, and I was only 10 years old when this occurred. And it devastated me. I mean, really, it, it took everything out of me. I went from being a really happy kid to becoming a very, very depressed kid. But soon, Ron found hope. Time. I came across the book that essentially changed my life. It was a classics illustrated uh, version of H.G. Wells's famous book, The Time Machine. Inside, Mallet said it spoke of time being a type of space that could be manipulated. When I read that, it was like a life preserver had been thrown out to me because I thought, oh, if I could build a time machine, then I could go back to the past and see him again and maybe save his life. So that became uh, an obsession with me. That obsession was further sparked by a book on Einstein's formulas. As a young adult, Mallet went into the Air Force, then to college on the GI Bill, and eventually landed at Yukon. My father was going to be among them as an African American that was going to be some. His mission to see his father again took a turn decades later. Matter and energy warp space and time. Theorizing light and gravity could be the key now, to unlocking the mystery of time. So I solved Einstein's gravitational field equation for a device that's called a ring laser, which allows you to create a loop of light. And what I found was, in fact, two effects occur. One is that it causes a twisting of space. This twisting of space, if it's strong enough, can lead to the possibility of loops in time forming. Let's say one day Professor Mallet's device was created. It may look something like this. Parallel and perpendicular lasers twist space-time, and eventually, that twist may loop us right back in time. <laughs> oh, uh, listen, I said no, my colleagues... I could visit WBZ decades ago and get an up-close-and-personal look how legends Liz and Jack created TV magic. In Florida, I'd be in that crowd, I'll tell you what. <laughs> or you could head to the supermarket ahead of the blizzard of 78 to see what people are buying. Spoiler alert, it's bread and milk. Them because of the storm, but they shared concern. Tickets have just gone on sale for the 12 o'clock show. And how cool would it be to go back in time and relive a blockbuster movie premiere like Return of the Jedi in 1983? But before any of that can happen, Professor Mallet says his project needs funding and engineers to give a physical form to his theories. For that twisting of space to become great enough to cause a twisting of time, the energies that are associated with that are beyond anything technically that we can achieve. At least not achievable at the moment, still, Professor Mallet remains confident his theories are correct, and it's only a matter of, well, time before the dreams of his youth become a reality. For now, his trips to the past are within these photo albums and forever in his heart and mind. He is like always there in the background for me, always. I knew he loved me, but I wasn't sure whether I had ever said explicitly to him that I love you. That would be the other thing that I would do, was to tell him that. From Yukon, Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. What a touching reason for him to want to do it. Yeah, something tells me his dad knows. Absolutely. And if you could go back in time, would you? No. I'm too afraid. Nope, I'm good right now, <laughs> even with the weather.